after completing five years in the driver's seat at Tata Sons, N. Chandrasekharan is set to be back as the boss at Bombay House. The Tata Sons executive chairman's term has been renewed for another five years. This is being seen as good news for all stakeholders because of the track record he has achieved so far. In the time under Chandra's leadership, the group's listed companies have added market capitalization of a whopping 14.3 lakh crores. In his New Year message, Chandra hinted at success being used as building blocks for future. He was also the chief architect for the process of bringing Air India back to the Tata's fold. A press release quoted N. Chandra as saying he is delighted to be given the opportunity to lead the group for another five years. Take a look at this report on the man with the Medas touch. 22 couldn't have had a better start for N. Chandra Shekharan, the top boss at Tata Sons. First, he was awarded the Padma Bhushan, India's third highest civilian award, and then he was reappointed executive chairman of Tata Sons for a term of another five years. Chandra was quoted in a press release as saying, It has been a privilege to lead the Tata Group for the last five years, and I am delighted at the opportunity to lead the Tata Group for another five years in its next phase. Unquote. His last five years in the driving seat of Tata Sons has been a dream run. As they say, fortune favours the brave. Chandra, as he is fondly referred, was a brave man to take the top job at Tata Sons right in the middle of a stormy boardroom battle. As the mystery and Tata families were blaming each other for the struggling financial health of various group companies, N. Chandra hit the ground running. His simple mantra of three S's, simplifying, synergizing and scaling, saw group stocks emerge as major value creators. The group under his leadership added 14.3 lakh crore rupees in market capitalization over the last five years. But his achievement has not only been in the group's financial parameters. He successfully managed to bring back Air India to the Tata Sons fold, which understandably has high emotional value. In his New Year message, Chandra hinted at success to be used as building blocks for the future. He said, and I quote, Recent success has given our group a great platform to build on. I am excited by the heights I know we can reach, not just financially, but also in terms of the difference we can make to our communities. A fitness buff and a runner, N. Chandra has emerged as the marathon man in the corporate race as well as he and his A-team swiftly and steadily turned around Tata Sun's debt picture. In fact, since N. Chandra took over, Tata Steel has cut its debt by over 50,000 crore rupees. And Tata Motors, Tata Communications and Indian Hotels have all trimmed the debt to get ahead in the earnings marathon. And who knows the importance of a strong digital presence better than tech titan N. Chandra, who spent several successful years as TCS boss. N. Chandra has ensured that each of the group companies is future ready, be it artificial intelligence, data analytics or electric vehicles. N. Chandra-led Tata Sons is making products for the future. Tata Sons will soon be launching its super app. That will be a one-stop shop for all Tata products. The group has also been making a bouquet of digital companies including Big Basket and 1MG. An able leader, a turnaround master and a pioneer, N. Chandra has won the hearts of both employees and shareholders. Here's wishing Chandra even more success in the next five years. Like Chandra once said, our job is to run our marathon, not to be distracted by somebody else's sprint. Your report, ET Now.